So at the time I'm recording this, um, I'm recording this about a month in advance, right? From when it's actually going to be uploaded. So my channel's still only a couple weeks old, it's still new, I haven't really got much of a following. But I want to talk about hate, and I'm lucky because I haven't really experienced any hate, at least yet. Um, and maybe I have by the time you're going to see this. And if so, I mean, I hope not, but that's just part of the whole thing, right? So I want to talk about this idea of internet hate and what you can do about it and how to address it. So I've seen a lot of content creators on the internet be affected by hate. I've seen a lot of them receive hate from people and react to hate. I felt like they've had to do things in response to the hate they've received. And in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing this if you're not prepared to accept that you're going to be hated on. It's, um, it sucks. You know, it's not particularly nice to experience at all. I mean, the people who end up doing the hating probably aren't particularly, you know, nice people. They're not particularly being nice, at least. But it's a part of the gig. And if you can't accept that and you're not able to deal with that, you shouldn't really be on YouTube, I think. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, people aren't particularly nice, you know, when they're doing this whole hating thing. But you shouldn't be on YouTube if you're not able to deal with it, or any social media platform. Like I said, it's part of the, it's part of the gig. It's part of the job. You have to accept it, and you have to be strong enough to move on from it. And a lot of people aren't, and they let it affect them. But you need to have the strength to tell yourself, I'm not going to be affected by some loser on the internet who has nothing better to do than comment on why he doesn't like my video. A lot of people react badly to hate, and I understand that. It doesn't make you feel good at all, obviously. But I think a mistake a lot of people have in their thinking is that the opposite of hate is love. Is that the opposite of love is hate, but really, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. When you are hated by someone, that means you're inciting a reaction in them, they're reacting to you. You have made them feel something. Whereas when someone's indifferent to you, they don't feel anything, they don't care about what you're doing, they don't react at all. It's worse to have someone who's indifferent to you than to invoke an emotional reaction. I think if I've invoked an emotional reaction in someone through doing this, I've been successful, whether that's positive or negative. It's easy to let the negative reactions that you get affect you. But it's so much better than people just not caring. You're making someone feel something. You're making someone feel an emotion. You're having an effect on their life. A significant effect. And I don't know about you, but to me that means something, whether that's positive or negative. So I don't know if by the time, you know, you guys are all seeing this video, if I'm going to have, you know, gone through a bunch of hate or whatever, received hate comments, that kind of thing. And if I do, you know, yeah, that's not particularly nice, but... Like I said, that's just part of the job. And I haven't been doing this YouTube thing very long. But I've been doing it long enough to know that that's just life. And that's what it takes. It's what it takes to do well on this platform. People hate. You also need to realize that most people are hating because they're upset about something in their life. You can hate because... You're jealous of someone, you can hate because you don't like someone, whatever it is. But a lot of the time it's because you're lacking something. When someone hates on your YouTube channel, 
It's probably because they're trying to start theirs and they're jealous that, you know, they haven't gotten as many subscribers as you or they're not as big as you or not getting as many views as you, whatever. But very rarely when you receive hate, is the hate because of a fault in you or something you've done wrong. So what I think is awesome is when you make a channel, you get a reaction, an emotional reaction. You have an effect on someone because that means, you know, my channel is significant. As soon as it affects one person, that's when your channel becomes significant. And yeah, most of us don't want that effect to be hate, but a lot of the time it is. And that sucks, but what can you do about it? You can't do anything. Hate is inevitable. Someone's going to be jealous of you. Someone's not going to like your content. Most people probably won't like your content because that's the way the world works. Whether most people are actually bothered to write something about that is a different story. But most people won't like your content. They won't like what you put out. They won't like what you say. And that's just the reality of it. Now, like I said, I hope that, you know, my video is not going through any kind of hate or anything negative. And, you know, if it is, like, that kind of sucks, but I'm prepared that that may happen. And if you're going through hate, my advice to you is suck it up. Be strong enough to have the confidence in yourself that you are doing what you love. Don't let other people interfere with that from you. If you're not hurting anyone, if you're just doing what you love, doing nothing wrong, why should you feel bad? And if you get upset by it or you give them the reaction that they're looking for, you are letting them win. Why would you let your hater win? Now obviously that's easier said than done. But that's how I think it should be. I think it should be that you have the strength to push through when you know you, people don't like your videos. You should have the the self kind of the self motivation to to accept that and not be bogged down by it because you're doing what you love and you're doing what makes some other people happy. And I'm sure, you know, by the time I posted this, I'll probably have received a couple of hate comments if I'm, if I've, you know, grown enough, which hopefully I have. And that's another thing. If you're receiving a hate comment, it's a sign that you're growing. Because when you get your first hate comment, that's when you know that your video is reaching audiences and invoking a reaction in your audiences. Before you get your first hate comment, that means, you know, your video isn't big enough. Your videos haven't taken off yet. Like, I haven't received my first hate comment. But I'm sure I will soon. Hopefully. I want to receive my first hate comment. Because that means... My channel's growing. And it means, you know, I'm improving. The final thing I want to say is that... You should look at... Hate comments as an opportunity for growth. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, they make you feel a bit rubbish. But look at them for ways to improve. A lot of the time, hate doesn't necessarily just come as, like, nonsense that, you know, sucks. Sometimes it comes as constructive criticism. And that's not really hate, per se. But maybe, you know, a hate comment will bring to light something that you hadn't considered that actually you think, huh, this might make my video better. And turn, you know, that hate comment you've received into something that has a positive impact on you and your channel. And that is difficult. It is difficult to separate your emotions from the reality of the situation. 
But if you practice doing that every time you get a hate comment, look into what can be done about this, what can improve, you will, first of all, you'll find yourself happier because you're not get, letting that emotional reaction harm you. But also you'll find your channel improves. So that's like a double win. Like I said, that's easier said than done. And sometimes it's difficult. But maybe try giving it a try. And of course, you know, sometimes the hate comments are just rubbish, something like, you suck, you're an idiot. But sometimes they can be useful, they can be helpful. Be receptive to issues that are brought to light by the hate comments, rather than being blinded by the sadness you get from your instinct, which is to be upset that you're not fitting in with your peers. Which is a human instinct we have. We like, we like to be liked. We pray, we crave being liked. Which is why being hated on something like YouTube hurts so much. I hope that's made sense for you and given you a little bit of insight into hate and how you can deal with it. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.